the remarkable life skills course that teaches us what sustainability is all about. Sustainability, it's a very popular word right now, and it means looking after our needs without compromising future generations. Sixteen hand-picked high school students have been learning firsthand what it means to be sustainable, spending a week on a remote island in the Marlborough Sounds. It's a partnership forged between the Untouched World Foundation and the Department of Conservation. In it, teachers hand over the reins and students take charge of their own learning. Hamish Clark with this groundbreaking project. Forty-five minutes from Picton lies Blue Mine Island at the tip of the Marlborough Sounds. This scenic reserve near Cook Strait is home for 16 lucky students. It's no school camp. They're here by choice, thrown together for a week. Well, they arrive uh, tentative. Some of them, some of them, positively scared sometimes. Here they camp out in the bush, cook and live together. It's adventure-based learning. So how much of that can we get sorted out? What do we need to get sorted out this afternoon? The students' week-long activities are based on Doc's conservation program for the island. See you later, guys. Here, they're the ones doing the real conservation work. And it's paying off. On the surface, it's about conservation. But underneath it, it's about kids recognising that they've got to take some action, they've got to take ownership, they've got to work together, and that there's a message to be spread. You see, Blue Mine Island used to be farmed on one side. Now it's covered in native bush. Hidden army barracks and gun emplacements are a reminder of the island's history dating back as far as the Second World War. My cave wetters from last night got out, so that's why I had to come catch more. Rachel Stace from Marlborough Girls College is trying to catch wetters. If we get one more, are there any more up here? The insects are needed so that their foot tracks can be mapped against the tracks of pests like mice. The purpose of this exercise is to get as many, well basically one or two will do, cave wetters and if we grab them then we can use them to find out what the unknown tracks were. It's fine. They're cool little insects. Megan? Uh, B44. Further around the island, uh, another sorry. group is surveying a plot of native bush. 57 centimetres. We're measuring the circumference of the plants inside this 10 by 10 plot. So then um, later on in the year, other groups can come back and measure them again to check how much they've grown and see the differences in the, the heights and the growth. It's quite a nice sense of satisfaction that we've actually helped in some way and we're actually doing something that is really helping Doc and we can, you know, say that we've personally been able to contribute. Blue Mine Island was originally off Doc's radar, overrun by mice and stoats. When was the last time you had a stoat? Uh, none on the island since the poison operation, which is great because it means that uh, it might be stoke free. The work of the students here over the past four years has elevated the island's conservation status. The, what they're doing is probably more than the department would normally do, but it's helping the department make the decision that in two years after the poison operation, the department's got to decide whether they're going to uh, bring birds and other native species onto the island. And that means the rare tom tits are back in bigger numbers and are safe. Using squeakers, the students try and entice the birds to eat out of their hands, get them used to human contact, so the pairs can be taken to other islands for breeding. We just had a female come in and have a bit of a feed. It's incredible because you see how small and how petite they are and you think, well, we've been killing these off and we're not doing that much to try and save them. But through doing projects like this, you can get it out there that, yeah, these little birds, they may not look very big, but they are really important. And, yeah, just having them so close, you can get such an intense look at them. B11. After six days, the students compile all the information they've gathered from the field. Rachel makes her wetter tracks. See those little marks that it's leaving? They're exactly what we want. While others enjoy the last of the sun. I go away from here humming because it's it's just uh, it's just huge in terms of seeing kids change. Uh, I mean, the, the the conservation side almost becomes secondary to watch students develop leadership skills, develop social skills, and take on board the sorts of concepts that will allow them to go out into their communities and 
make a bit of difference in terms of a sustainable world, a sustainable future. The whole program is about developing leadership and certainly when we take those kids out in the initial programs, we do look for leaders that we can then take on to another program where we then bring on special needs children. So they do all have names there. I've seen students go back and set up environment groups in their school. I've seen three of the schools involved in this program establish heads of environment in their schools in the last three years as part of this program. It's been a great week, despite the weather. As they leave the island and head back home, they take with them everything they've learned and experienced and have a message for us all. Blue Mine Island was the best experience I've ever had. It's taught me about the environment, it's ma I've made new friends, and it's given me the opportunity to learn so much that I will take away to use in future life. This week's been a real eye-opener for us and especially of our generation and recognising what we have and how we're going to sustain it. This week has taught me how much of an impact humans have on the environment. I just think it's really good that all of us brought together can have helped the island um, regain some of what it's lost. The environment is something we need to treasure. We can't just throw it away. It's something we have to just appreciate it so much. Hopes and dreams for a better future.